threats, terming them as punitive. Now, in the proposed changes, Kenyans earning more than 100,000 shillings will have to part with 1.7% of, of their gross salary. There is no one entity that can decide cost of health care in this country without consulting the key stakeholder. So this organization, the Kenya Medical Practitioners and Aids Council, the Minister of Health and National Hospital Insurance Fund are in discussions. We do support uh, the move by the uh, association to organize a stakeholder workshop uh, to look forward and to uh, discuss issues affecting healthcare delivery in this country, and in particular, towards the attainment of universal health coverage. Currently, the only fee, because the council has the responsibility of setting out fee guidelines for uh, hospitals and for procedures and uh, for doctors' consultations, is contained in the legal notice that was given in 2016. And that legal notice has not yet changed. We are part and parcel in the provision of healthcare in this country. And we want to find solutions rather than uh, problems. And for NHIF, we are very happy uh, with the decisions that we had reached uh, a few weeks ago. And uh, we, with the uh, technical working group that we have formed, we will be able to uh, come up with solutions that is favorable to both. Uh, so that uh, we, we, we help our people. And we have established that uh, it is not actually the uh, doctor's consultation and nurse's consultation, clinical officer's consultation fee, and the prof procedure fee that contributes to high cost of healthcare in this country. The cost of taxation is something that we must be looked into because these uh, hospitals import medical devices which are taxed at entry and the medicines that we import because we don't have a lot of medical or, or production in the country they are also taxed and therefore if taxes can go down in medical devices the equipment that hospitals bring into this country i think would cover a lot of ground in lower, lowering the cost of care in this country Away from that, two people masquerading as lawyers have been